One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. And oh, God. Oh, God. None of them could understand me. Not even my little suit. Oh, Vicky. And as for Barbara and Chatterton, Chesterton, they were all too impatient to get back to their own time. And now, Perhaps I should go home, back to my own planet. But I can't. I can't. There is good, and there is evil. I left Gallifrey to answer a question of my own. By any analysis, evil should always win. Good is not a practical survival strategy. It requires loyalty, self-sacrifice, and uh, love. Uh, so why does good prevail? What keeps the balance between good and evil in this appalling universe? Listen, if someone who knew the future pointed out a child to you and told you that that child would grow up totally evil, to be a ruthless dictator who would destroy millions of lives, could you then kill that child? Do I have the right? Simply touch one wire against the other, and it's it. The Daleks cease to exist. But if I kill, wipe out a whole intelligent life form, then I become like them. I'd be no better than the Daleks. In all my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power-mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization. Decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. <laughs> Power Mac conspirators, Daleks, and Tarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. There are worlds out there where the sky is burning, where the seas are asleep and the rivers dream. People made of smoke and cities made of song. Some of there's danger. Somewhere there's injustice. Somewhere else the tea's getting cold. Come on, Ace. We've got work to do. Time Lords of Gallifrey, Daleks of Skyro, I serve notice on you all. Too long I have stayed my hand, no more. Today, you leave me no choice. Today, this war will end. No more. Do you know, like we were saying about the Earth revolving? It's like when you're a kid. The first time they tell you that the world's turning and you just can't quite believe it because everything looks like it's standing still. I can feel it. The turn of the Earth. The ground beneath our feet is spinning at a thousand miles an hour the entire planet is hurtling around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour and I can feel it. We're falling through space, you and me, clinging to the skin of this tiny little world and if we let go, that's who I am. I could pretend, just for a bit, I could imagine they were still alive underneath a burnt orange sky. I'm not just a Time Lord. I'm the last of the Time Lords. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. I never would. Mm. 
When you start this new world, this world of human and half, remember that. Make the foundation of this society a man who never would. Yes, because there are laws. There are laws of time. And once upon a time, there were people in charge of those laws, but they died. They all died. Do you know who that leaves? Me! It's taken me all these years to realize the laws of time are mine, and they will obey me! It's not like I'm an innocent. I've taken lives. And I got worse, I got clever. Manipulated people into taking their own. Sometimes I think a Time Lord lives too long. Well, exactly, look at you. Not remotely important. But me? I could do so much more. So much more! But this is what I get. My reward. But it's not fair! Sent you lot, you're all whizzing about. It's really very distracting. Could you all just stay still a minute? Because I am talking! So, if you're sitting up there in your silly little spaceship with all your silly little guns, and you've got any plans on taking the Pandorica tonight, just remember who's standing in your way. Remember, every black day I ever stopped you, and then. Let somebody else try first. I walked away from the last great time war. I marked the passing of the Time Lords. I saw the birth of the universe and I watched as time ran out. Moment by moment until nothing remained. No time, no space, just me. I walked in universes where the laws of physics were devised by the mind of a mad man. Universes freeze and creations burn. I have seen things you wouldn't believe. I have lost things you will never understand. And I know things, secrets that must never be told, knowledge that must never be spoken. Knowledge that will make parasite gods blaze. So come on then, take it. Think about it. We are all different people all through our lives. And that's okay, that's good. You've got to keep moving so long as you remember all the people that you used to be. I will not forget one line of this. Not one day, I swear. I will always remember when the doctor was me. Question, why do we talk out loud when we know <laughs> we're alone? Because we know we're not. Evolution perfects survival skills. There are perfect hunters. There is perfect defense. Question, why is there no such thing as perfect hiding? Answer. How would you know? Logically, if evolution were to perfect a creature whose primary skill were to hide from view, how could you know it existed? It could be with us every second and we would never know. How would you detect it? Even sense it. Except in those moments when for no clear reason you choose to speak aloud. What? would such a creature want? What would it do? Well? What would you do? I tried to talk. I want you to remember that. I tried to reach out 
I tried to understand you, but I think that you understand us perfectly. I think that you just don't care. And I don't know whether you are here to invade, infiltrate, or just replace us. I don't suppose it really matters now. You are monsters! That is the role you seem determined to play, so it seems that I must play mine. The man that stops the monsters. Because it's not a game, Kate. This is a scale model of war. Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die. You don't know whose children are going to scream and burn. How many hearts will be broken? How many lives shattered? How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do from the very beginning? Sit down and talk! I don't understand. Are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, to call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. And you know what you do with all that pain? Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. Till it burns your hand. And you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. If you think because she's dead I'm weak, then you understand very little. If you are any part of killing her, and you're not afraid, then you understand nothing at all. So for your own sake, understand this. I'm the doctor. I'm coming to find you. And I will never ever stop. Winning? Is that what you think it's about? I'm not trying to win. I'm not doing this because I want to beat someone because I hate someone or because, because I want to blame someone. It's not because it's fun. God knows it's not because it's easy. It's not even because it works, because it hardly ever does. I do what I do because it's right. Because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. It's just that. Just kind. If I run away today, good people will die. If I stand and fight, some of them might live. Maybe not many, maybe not for long. Hey, you know, maybe there's no point in any of this at all. But it's the best I can do. So I'm going to do it. And I will stand here doing it till it kills me. You're going to die too. Someday. What would that be if you thought about it? What would you die for? Who I am? It's where I stand, where I stand. It's where I fall. Stand with me. These people are terrified. Maybe we can help a little. Why not? Just at the end. Just be kind. Basic stuff first. Never be cruel, never be cowardly, and never ever eat pears. Remember, hate is always foolish, and love is always wise. Always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. Laugh hard. Run fast. Be kind.